Hi, using ChatGPT can be a very great tool for learning any concept in any programming language. In this example, I asked ChatGPT to demonstrate how to use Enum in Swift using emojis and it gave this code. Although this code is not perfect, there is still something mixing with the code. So in this video, I will demonstrate to you how to use ChatGPT in fixing errors in your code. So let's copy the code here and come to the Swift UI project. I will select from the import to the struct and replace them with the code. So we have two errors. The first error has nothing to do with ChatGPT because it cannot find this method here. So let's copy that and replace it. So we have the second error. Let's click on that. So it states here, the type has no member all cases. So the error comes from this all cases property used in the for each. To fix that, we can copy the error and ask ChatGPT to fix the error. So you can see over here, I asked ChatGPT to fix the error. The type has no member all cases. And then it gave a solution. It stated over here, the emoji struct should conform to the case iteratable protocol. Let's look at why the error happened. So here it created the enum emoji. That is a string. And over here, it uses for each to loop over the enum. So to be able to use for each to loop over the enum, it should conform to the case iteratable protocol. So let's go to the declaration of the enum. After the string, let's add case iteratable. And that should make the error disappear. So we now have the screen that displays the emojis using a segmented control. Let's go through the code again. In the for each, it uses the loop variable, but let's remove that and replace it with dollar zero. So the dollar zero over here is the same as the loop variable we removed, and it represents the first case of the enum. So here you can see we have party as the first case. Also, it uses an old method here to present the picker. So let's use dot segmented instead. When we click any of the emojis on the segmented control, we show all of them. And that is how to use ChatGPT to fix errors in your code. This is very useful. For example, when you are working in SwiftUI, you may get an error that is not descriptive at all. So using ChatGPT to fix the error can be very helpful. Thanks for watching this video.